these muscles here. Associated with each of the gill slits oh. on the ventral, ventral side. Superficial ventral superficial constrictors. Yes. Hey, okay. <laughs> okay. What is this connective tissue line here? Lina alba. Linea alba. Mm -hmm. The white, white line. line. Okay, what is this cartilage bar here? Coracoid, Coracoid bar. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are these triangle muscles here? Hard to say. Coracoarcules. <laughs> All right, so how about this muscle that runs from one side of the mandible to the other? We had to cut through it to get to those strap muscles. No. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. It's the inter mandibular. Inter mandibularis. Oh, inter mandibularis. And remember, it's got two layers, right? So the underneath layer is the inter hyoideus. Right? So mm -hmm. if we cut open this intermandibularis and then we reflect it backwards to see the underside, we can see the interhyoides. Okay, it's just on the other side of the intermandibularis. All right, so got a little chewed up here. It's okay. <laughs> These most. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> the, the closest to the surface, the medial muscles that run between the coracoid bar and the mandible, what are those called? Uh, Coracomandibularis. That thing. Okay. Now the ones just deep to that, deep and lateral, run from the coracoid bar to the hyoid bone. Coracohyoideus. Okay, you're not going to have these clues when yeah, I. I know. Okay. <laughs> and then the super deep strap muscles. I remember that one. Go from the coracoid bar to the branchial basket or the gill arches. Coracobranchials with an Brank N. Brank I can't say it. I got a Midwestern accent. Okay. What's this muscle right here? Adductor mandibuli. Okay, what about this one under the eye? Preorbitalis. <laughs> Did I get ya? No. Okay, good. All right, so look at what's this round muscle again? The adductor, adductor mandibular. mandibular. So look at, I can see it from here. I can see it on the side and I can also see it from underneath. So you should be able to identify from all places. What are these strip muscles here? You got it? I heard it. Dorsal yes, absolutely. Dorsal superficial constrictors. What do we see on the ventral side? Ventral superficial constrictors. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to peel this up so we can see the little nerve that I think I'm destroying right now. <laughs> Never mind, I think I just, no, here it is. I see it. What nerve is this? Hyomandibular nerve. Okay, so this hyomandibular nerve runs on the posterior border of the adductor mandibuli muscle. See that? Okay, and that posterior border of the adductor mandibuli also forms the border or tells you where the border is between the levator hyoid, hyomandibuli and the levator hyoideus. Okay, so what's this hole called? 
Spiracle. What's this muscle right here? Spiracularis. What is this muscle? Oh, this is lovely right here. What's this muscle right here? Anterior to the spiracularis. It's like levator palatoquadrate. So palatoquadrate cartilage. That's the upper jaw cartilage. Okay, so if we look at the spiracle and then we go back one group of muscles posterior, this is the levator hyomandibuli right here. And then the levator hyoideus is just posterior to that. Okay, so I can see the border, the posterior border of my adductor mandibuli is where I have the border between the levator hyoideus and the levator hyomandibuli. Okay, so here's look at hyomandibular nerve, posterior border of the adductor mandibuli. That forms my distinction between the levator hyomandibuli and the levator hyoideus. Okay, I didn't, I forgot to mention the muscle group that's just dorsal to these dorsal superficial constrictors. Okay, so here are my dorsal superficial constrictors. I have this wedge-shaped muscle here. See this wedge-shaped muscle, just dorsal? Okay, and that muscle is called the cucularis. 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 And the posterior border of the cucularis here ends at the scapular cartilage. Okay, so see the posterior border of my cucularis ends at the scapular cartilage. What's this muscle right here? Pectoral abductor, yes. Abductor. Okay, what is this line here? Connective tissue line, the big one. Running horizontal septum. What are these little connective tissue lines called? Myosepta. And then the muscles in between those myosepta are the myomeres. Okay, so here's my horizontal septum. What are the muscle segments dorsal to that called? Epaxials. What about the ones just ventral to the horizontal septum? What are those called? Hypaxials. And then the hypaxials that run along the belly are called the hypaxial ventral bundles. What's this muscle? Dorsal fin muscle. That's the one that has the name. That should be the one I missed. Right? I always miss that. Okay, and then take a look here. What's this muscle here? Pelvic abductor. Is this a female or a male? Female. Female. What are these muscles called here? Pelvic adductors. What's this little thing called? The Euro urinary papilla. Will you guys throw me your shark? Please. Oh, yeah. yeah just a whole shark piece. I was so confused. I was like, what? Is your a general one for the male? Male only. Thank you. Okay. So, boy or girl? Boy. Okay. So, on the exam, if I pin this little cone thing here and ask you to tell me what it is, what will you put? Your genital papilla. Stuff that intestine back in there. <laughs> okay, so look, here are these claspers, right? They're little guys. Mm -hmm. And the claspers each have, see this yellow muscle here? I'm going to strip it away from 
What are these muscles under here again? Pelvic. Under pelvic adductors, okay? So this is a siphon muscle. These strips, see how medial they are? Okay, so we have one example, I'll probably dissect another male, but we have one example of these siphon muscles in the lab. So take a look, all right? What are these fin things called, the fin rays? What are the rays called? Serrato, serratotrichia, okay? And then we learned that our bony fish, in class today we learned the bony fish are called, um, they have fin rays called lepidotrichia. Okay, so what kind of tail is this? Heterocircle. So this part that kind of sticks out on the side, this is called the keel. Okay, that's what that is. I, for, I always forget to tell everybody where the keel is. Keel. Okay, so let's start cutting into... I'm just going to toss it. <laughs> Sorry. Sharky. Okay, let's see. You guys dissected this side. So you want to pick the side that you didn't skin. Oh, thanks. Peppermint oil, anybody? waking me up all right so okay so look at I'm gonna start at the corner of the mouth and then I'm gonna cut down and then I'm gonna go ventral to the fin okay. and then I'm gonna cut all the way down to the cloacal opening and then I'm gonna cut across so that kind of opens like a book you guys already have some leaky organs here we do it's okay <laughs> <laughs> That's the liver. That's only a little part of it, too. Okay, so our our elasmobranchs, our chondrichthys, they don't have a swim bladder. So when we moved from these dull scissors, <laughs> when we moved to our actinops, we had fish that have a swim bladder. So I'm gonna cut straight through the gill arches here so that we have a view of the gill arches from the inside cut in half and also as a whole. 